All right, hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a Windows 8 unofficial boot for Windows 7. I'm not actually gonna do this uh, for the long run for customizing Windows 7 like Windows 8 because um, that kind of goes against what uh, I'll be doing in the future with Windows 8 exclusively. Um, so anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of Windows 8 boot um, uh, pictures and if you guys want, you can go ahead and download a link uh, I also have an exclusive one that you guys are seeing right here. Uh, this is made by Lord Rasiri. Uh, he's from DeviantArt, and he also has a YouTube channel on uh, YouTube. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pack everything in a zip file for you guys and show you guys how to go ahead and install it and apply your boot. Um, so this is going for the ones that have um, a Windows 8 custom pack for their theme instead of a Windows 7 theme. They have a Windows 8 uh, transformation pack to make it look a lot, a lot like Windows 8. So I'm going to go ahead and help you uh, finish up the finishing touches on Windows 7. All right, here we go. So if and when you do get the link on the download, uh, what you want to do is go ahead and save it to your desktop. After that, you want to go ahead and open that zip file. It might not look like that because you might not have WinRAR. But in your zip file, when you open it, all you want to do is go ahead and highlight everything by clicking in highlighting and drag it to your desktop. And those will come up. After that, what you want to do is with the Windows 7 boot updater, you want to go ahead and right click run as administrator. There might be something that you might need to install before you can run this. I can't really say for sure. But if it does ask you, go ahead and download it and install it. So you have your program right here called Windows 7 Boot Updater. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on File. You want to go and click on Load Boot Skin. And then wherever you had put your boot images, you want to go ahead and uh, test them. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and give you a sample of each one. That way you guys can know. So this one right here, just by playing it, it says welcome it has the Windows 8 ring and it just has a constant loop now the other one I believe is with the ugly fish as uh, that one user would say let's see if I can play it okay I guess it just plays it like that all right the next one would be uh, the variant 2. It just says starting Windows real fast and it goes out and then you have your ring. Alright. And it's a constant loop. The next one would be, I believe, with the fish. Or actually, Lord Series one. And this is the official one. This is the one I would recommend getting because it has the official Windows 8 logo even though it's unofficial. And I'll go ahead and show you in a bigger screen of what it really looks like. And the last one has the fish icon, but with the ring too. Let's go ahead and play that. There you go. That can be applied with Windows 7. Okay. All right, so let's just say you wanted to go ahead and pick any which one um, you have it loaded. All you have to do is just press apply. Um, it would be safe to press apply. It might ask you to go ahead and restore, uh, or it might do a uh, backup by itself. So go ahead and press apply, restart your computer, look at the results. If you have any troubles, uh, let me know. What you would be best on doing is to go ahead and create a restore point, uh, just in case any troubles do come around. If you have any troubles with the boot manager, let me know right away. I do have an easy fix for that, but you might need a CD disk. Um, yeah, so. That's just about it for the Windows 8 unofficial boot updater pack. Uh, I think there's a video right here that I have down below that you guys might want to see, or guess not. But anyways, uh, yeah, so Lord Rasiri, uh, his channel on DeviantArt is right here. What he did is he updated, um, he has a design, he used it uh, using Sony Vegas Pro 11. Um, he tested it with Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit update is that you can use it with the 32-bit um, Windows 7 boot updater which is provided in the link is provided and required 
Uh, the Windows 7 updater is required to use this boot screen. The process can be uh, can lead to undesired effects like I had warned you guys already. Uh, so use at your own risk. Also, uh, there are instructions. Um, so he's the creator of the Windows 7. Um, so just be careful. But yeah, um, and this is his channel. Uh, this is his video channel. So he has a bunch of videos. If you guys would like, he does the same thing as me. He does reviews on software and he shows you how to go ahead and do quick tips on customizing your, not customizing, but uh, performing your computer. Um, he also does games too. But uh, also, just so you guys know, I think on my last channel, I made like a presentation on my channel. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know, if you guys really want to get to know me, I have some more stuff right here. Just click more. There's a little biography about this channel and some more right here. Go ahead and click that. It's about me, um, where I'm from and what I do, what my interests are. And just go ahead and click subscribe when you guys get a chance and hit the like button if you guys um, enjoy this video. All right, take care guys.